Harbor Springs Public Schools community. This is Michael Behrman, Superintendent of Schools. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying a fun, relaxing, and safe summer. It's really hard to believe that it's August. It goes without saying that these are very challenging times on families, businesses, and schools. As I've said many times before, it's a blessing to live and work in Harbor Springs where the community is so supportive of each other and especially our schools. On August 5, 2020, the Board of Education approved the State of Michigan required COVID-19 Preparedness and Response Plan. This portion of our school reopening roadmap focuses primarily on safety protocols. A task force of 25 members, including staff, parents, administrators, health professionals, mental health therapists, and board members gave input into the plan, which was based on the Michigan Safe Start Roadmap for Schools. The board also approved the course catalogs of online curriculum and platform providers at the same meeting. We hope that you take the time to read the COVID-19 Preparedness and Response Plan, as well as the summary of what the main components of the safety protocols that will be put into place for our face-to-face -face students attending school. The district is offering a full online learning experience for those students whose parents do not feel comfortable sending their children to school. The commitment would be a semester or for a year. We will have a prepared summary of the RAM virtual learning option so parents and students can make informed decision, which will be on our website as well. The registration window for the full online option will be from August 5th through August 15th, 2020. All information, again, is listed on the district website, including the link to register your children for the full online virtual option. Finally, we are asking all families to let us know if their children are riding buses to and from school. This will help us as we finalize bus routing and balance the number of riders on each route. The transportation and tent survey is also on the district website. We ask that you complete a survey for each child that attends Harbor Springs Public Schools. If your child is enrolled in the full virtual learning option, we will consider him or her not riding the bus. As a parent myself, I can understand the difficulty of making these types of decisions. Every child and family has unique circumstances that will drive the decision-making process. Keeping our students and staff safe and healthy is our top priority. Having said that, I will be the first one to admit that our plan is not perfect, but I doubt that there is a perfect plan out there anywhere. I can say that I am proud we chose a very collaborative process to create our plan. I wish you all well and let us know if we can help. Thank you.